it was not a book that was obvious. Like, it didn't sell well. Football people don't read books. It was half football strategy and half this family drama. So we just didn't sell very many copies. The idea was gonna become a movie. That surprised, that kind of surprised me. Finally gets made by a small film company called Alcon, owned by Fred Smith, who's the, the founder of FedEx, who happened to know the story because he lived around the corner in, cor Memphis. in Memphis. He knew the story, he said, I'll make it. Made it on a shoestring, and it makes hundreds of millions of dollars. Flash forward to now, and Michael Orr is filing a lawsuit alleging that the Tuohys made many millions of dollars off this movie and they hid the profits from him. Now, I know that not to be true because the money they made off the movie was basically my money. I, I sold the movie rights to the book and I just gave them half of it. Remember how much for? Yeah, when you actually, I've gone and done the accounting since. The, in the beginning, we sold the movie rights for $250,000, which we split. So 125, 125, and the two is divided up five ways amongst the, the ki their kids and themselves. So it was a fifth of $125,000. That's before agent fees and taxes. So it ends up like 14 grand a person. That's what Michael Orr would have gotten. gotten. Yeah. Subsequently, there has been some payments. All together, each side of the deal, mine and theirs, received gross $760,000. After agent's fees, like 690 grand. So after taxes, like, I don't know, 400? Uh, so that's what they would have gotten, 400 grand divided five ways. So I was a little shocked when I saw that he was suspicious of them because I watched this relationship for the better part of three years and it was loving and they were, he was like a part of their family and to the extent there was anything, um, they had any kind of motive other than just trying to take care of this kid, they probably were pleased that he went to play football at their alma mater. At he Ole went Miss. To, at Ole Miss. Yeah. But that was it. The Tuohys themselves were, I mean, he's. He's made hundreds of millions of dollars in the fast food business. He doesn't need the, that money. And it was just like so unlike the Tui's. The Tui's, right. Yeah. And, and Michael Orr has made $35 million as a football player. Right. It's so sad to see something that, because of the success, it caused problems. Like if the movie had never been made, or if I'd never written the book, the movie yeah. never would have been made. No one else was, no one was trying to write this story. The success and the perception that there's this big pot of money created this division.